Well, shalom, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog um, taught is based around an event that I went to last week. I had been invited by a rabbi at one of the local synagogues to participate in a forum on what to do about gun violence. Um, there were three of us. There was going to be an L.A. city attorney, myself, and then a woman who had... Um, she was a law enforcement officer, and she had survived the Las Vegas massacre. I would say that there were probably about 75, 50 to 75 people in attendance that evening, and they were all, generally speaking, very respectful, up until we started discussing some of the finer points of legislation that's being used in order to commit gun crime. When all of a sudden, this one individual just lost control of his emotions and started screaming about the fact that all I was doing was providing my own opinions, which, candidly, I thought that's what I was there for. But in any event, um, I the rabbi tried to shut him down, and I said, "No, no, no, let's let him let's let him talk." And you could see the people in the crowd were generally embarrassed because of this guy. It's, pretty clear that they already had a pre-existing relationship with him. So to intellectually combat him would have been to be nothing more than a bully. So I, I sort of let that go. But the one thing that, that struck me was his hyperbolic response to the statements that I was making. Later on, a woman, probably in her late 50s or early 60s, had gotten up and was saying that she did believe there was something going on in our culture, because when she was a, a high school student, they guns were ubiquitous. She was part of a shooting team. In fact, she would bring her firearms to school for you know rifle practice in the afternoon. Well, there was this one woman who was sitting at another part of the of the audience. The only way that I could realistically describe her and 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 give a decent descriptive is that she looked like an ex hippie. Um, in any event, she was part of the Moms Demand Action crowd. And when she heard that this woman had brought guns to school back 50 years ago, she became apoplectic. She, she, she looked at the woman and she interrupted her and said, you brought guns to school? And the woman kind of looked at her and said, well, yes, I was part of a shooting team. At this point, this woman goes into some sort of almost seizure. She starts clutching her chest. Oh, my God. Oh my God, you brought guns to school. She starts hyperventilating. And as I sat there and I watched this little event take place, I realized that at this point in our nation's history, intellectual discourse on something like an inanimate object, like a gun, is something that we're just simply not going to be able to have. There are groups of individuals that for some reason have developed a phobia, just the same level of phobia that I have with spiders. So my modest proposal is that for individuals that have developed this irrational phobia against the the ownership of a firearm or the presence of a firearm, it's only reasonable to conclude that they are suffering from some sort of mental defective because nothing is is compelling them to buy a gun and yet they show an irrational animus towards this object to the point where they're starting to lose control of their own faculties. So my suggestion is that for people that fall into this category, I believe they should become prohibited persons, incapable of exercising not only their civil rights and the position of being able to buy a gun, but also since they will clearly lack mental judgment, they probably should not be allowed to serve on juries, vote, or be able to enjoy the Fourth Amendment. In any event, I hope you read the blog. Um, obviously, it's a little tongue-in-cheek. Guys, remember, train constantly, train consistently, train with purpose. And above all else, stay vigilant. Until next week, it's good seeing you again. Bye-bye.